Yes, this is just me walking down into the depths of what should be our pond to collect a barrel that Tex thought would be fun to push over the side of the cliff. Here I am standing at the bottom of what will one day be a great pond. And I'm gonna have to pick up and pull this barrel out of here. That's what I do. And that's weird. All right, my friends, the time has come to raise the roof and have some fun. Oh, oh, oh. throw away the work to be done. Everybody, hey, hey, <laughs> everybody sings and everybody dance. Dun, dun, dun. Lose yourself in wild romance. I'm going to walk over to the garage, get some feed. I'll be right back. Hey, it's time to know y'all come on along. Let's go follow me to the garage. Let's get some feed for you who come on and sing my song all night long. Okay, let me stop. Hey folks, Luster here, and I've come out to clean the barn this morning, and uh, I'm not alone. As you can see, I have a whole lot of little beggars who've come out to join me, and uh, you know what they're hoping for. They're hoping that what I'll do is feel sorry for them, and in that sorrow, I'll go ahead and pour out a whole bunch of feed. But uh, it's not feed time. And that's funny because they know it's not feed time. They know it's not feed time. Well, I guess while we're here in the barn, we can talk about how the barn's coming along. Guys, I'm embarrassed to, uh, I'm embarrassed to admit that it's been about two weeks since I've done anything here in the barn. The last time that we left it, you knew that I'd gotten my gates installed over here and my little, uh, my chute gates. We're going to call these the chute gates. Over here, all installed. I got my chains all put around those. All right, so I did have every intention of waiting a couple of hours before I feed up, but guys, I can't do it. I can't do it. I cannot sit here and stare at these faces. I cannot sit here and stare into their eyes, their eyes of hunger and a just a, a, a need for food. The way they're begging it out of me, I just cannot stand it. Look, I'm getting side-eyed, literally. She's glaring at me for knowing that there's feed right inside that garage, and I will not bring it out to her. And so I'm gonna go ahead and say, you know what, fine. L Daddy will be a sucker, and I'm gonna feed up early. So even though we never eat at freaking 3.30 in the afternoon, because who does that? Who does that? Who does that? Seriously, who eats at 3.30 in the afternoon? Well, guess what? Today we will. Today, we shall indulge ourselves in some del delicacies at 3.30 in the afternoon. How you feel about that? Jolene, how you feel about that? What's in your mouth? What is that hanging out of her mouth? Jolene, what's in your mouth? What's in her mouth? Jolene, what's in your mouth? Guys, do y'all not see something in Jolene's mouth? What is that? Jolene spit that out. That looks like, I know what that is. If you notice the ground around her, she's reached down and she's been licking on some kind of something or another. That looks like a shredded piece of this tree that I bet you he's been shredding and she's been licking on it. And now she got some stuck to her. You no, know, I really can't be myself around here because of Miss Pat, Mr. Dave. Sometimes I just can't be myself because of a fear of who might be watching me from the woods. Because Dave and Pat, man, they roll up on that golf cart and you can't hear them coming. You cannot hear the golf cart coming. Oh, who am I kidding? If Dave and Pat roll up, I can't hear them coming, but they'll hear them coming and they'll be gone. If Dave and Pat was here right now, these guys would be nowhere around. I promise you that. I'll be right back. People dancing all in the street. So, 
on. So this is the garage door that goes out. Hey, right, you cannot come in here. No, ma'am. I am coming out. You go back. Get, shoo, wee, shoo. Get on. You're going to mess everything up here. She's going to mess everything up. She is. She's going to mess everything up. Get back. Uh-uh, you're worse. Get back out of here. Get back. Go, Jezebels. Go, get on. Get on, Jezebel. Get on. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. All right, that ain't going to work. You can't make your voice sound mean and scare those girls away. So what I've done is I've put the feet. Get on out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Baby, go. Listen, you're going to mess everything up. You know what I'm going to do? Sorry. What y'all get? Everybody. All right, this is where I start praying. Lord, Lord God Almighty, please do not let, do not let these animals make a fool out of me. Please do not let these animals make a fool out of me. Because I just now said that y'all are really good about everything. Hold on. Hold on, Beverly. I'm trying to close my gate. Beverly, you're making my four-wheeler roll down the hill. Move. All right. See, that's, that's good. They're good girls. All right. Let's go show everybody how easy, how we got this. There's my feed. Driving out on my four-wheeler. Here I come, guys. We're going to go ahead and do it the old-fashioned way. You remember. You remember how we do it the old-fashioned way. I'm going to go around back and get the girls, the horses, in their stalls first. That's what I'm going to do, everybody. I'm going to drive on around back and get the horses in their stall first. Which would be this one right over here. That's our horse feed. Three two one here they come right on cue i'm gonna pour enough for both of my horses i know only one's a horse lester i already know that pee pat but don't tell her that so i give them a little extra because there's two of them in here there both of my horses are eating in here now guys i know she's not a horse but do we have to tell her that she thinks she's a horse. So what I did was I put enough feed in that one bucket where the horse could horses could eat together because they like eating together. Y'all get it? Y'all sort of get how this works? And now, because those two are in there, they can't harass and bother everybody else. I'm just gonna go ahead and just say this. This part here is a little bit hairy. This part here is a little bit hairy. I haven't quite figured out the best way to do this. But uh, what happens is I like to get Tex going first. I like to get Tex up in his stall first, even though I do not like to close him in. Excuse me, Jolene. I like to get Tex up in here first so he can go ahead and get started. And no one, excuse me, ladies. Now, you know that's against the rules. Excuse me, move your big horn out of the way. Come on, Tex. Now, sometimes the ladies will come in and take over Texas food. He will run them out if he wants them out. Do not worry about that. Guys, don't forget, we're also feeding winter rations right now. We are feeding winter rations because we ain't got no grass. I know what you're gonna say. Lester, stop using them double negatives. What do you mean, we ain't got none? We ain't got no. You're using double negatives and a word that's not even English, Lester. Guys, it's just an expression. I can say it however I want to. Come on, Gracie. See, I don't really care who's who. I stopped caring about who's who. Go ahead, love. What I do care about, though, is that everyone has a chance to go into a stall and get some food without being bothered. Now, granted there's only one gate that would ever hold that big stud right there there's only one gate that would ever hold this stud and it's the red gate you already know that but santiana chose the red gate and so that's fine i already told y'all before i ever started i'm not putting i'm not closing gates today i don't have a need to close gates today 
I have no need to close gates. I'm not actually moving anybody anywhere. Excuse me, love. But I just want y'all to see that the animals have learned the routine of going inside the stalls. So I could very easily, if I needed to, close Gracie, close Santana, close up Santoro. Give me a moment here and I'll show you how we could also close up Pearl, Jolene, anybody who needs to be closed up could be closed up except for Tex. And I could probably close him up, but it, re it would require me putting him inside the red stall with the heavy duty door. And I just don't want to do that. Why rock the boat? Seriously, why, why rock the boat, y'all? Why would we want to rock that boat? So I'm gonna let Tex eat here right on the edge. Right there. It's a lot of grains in there, y'all, because we are feeding winter rations. Okay, so now you see what she's doing. She's trying to say, uh-uh, Santoro's growing up. He's a growing boy. So if you're gonna eat in here, you're gonna go all the way in. If you're eating in the stall, you're gonna come all the way in. There's a lot of grains in there that weren't even for you. All right, so y'all bear with here, okay? Bear with, bear with, as they say. Just bear with. And Toro needs to get his little butt out of there. Tex, what I'm gonna do, so as not to risk getting Santoro hurt, is I'm gonna get Santoro's butt out of here. And then I'm gonna push this food trough closer to you, since we're not actually going to put you inside of a stall today. Y'all like that? Do y'all like that? Are y'all impressed? Here, Tex. Here. There's a lot of food there. I'm not gonna close you in, I promise. All right, let me just sit back here turn my bucket over and have a little talk with you all okay yes i've already said that i'm going to eventually put some boards across there i have the boards i just haven't done it guys it's been hot okay it's been hot the horse horses horse and donkey are over there doing their own thing and they're bothering nobody santoro is to the age where he wants to eat he needs to eat i'm going to open up his gate and let him go with mama come in with mama come on it's about time that he learns he has his very own place to eat. Go in there with your mother. Go with mom, because dad ain't gonna feed you. <laughs> Dad's like, get your ass out of here, boy. So now Santoro's, Pearl, Pearl, Pearl. I just swept and dusted the entire stall. You could have done that over anywhere over this 10 acres, Pearl. And you gotta go right there. Oh, Josh, sheesh. Okay, I get it. Okay, I get it. Okay, I get what y'all want to do here. It's real funny. That's real funny. I totally get what y'all are up to. That's real funny. So now you're all saying, well, Lester, what about Jolene? Well, what about Jolene, Lester? Okay, well, watch. I can open up this gate over here. And I can say, Jolene, get in there with your mother. Get in there with your mama. Go with your mama. Get in there with your mother because she's hungry and she wants you in there with her. And you need to start learning how to eat. You need to start learning how to eat, Jolene. You're a big girl, but that's not your mother, Jolene. Okay, you're gonna leave it up to Jolene to make the whole system fall apart. So let me turn off the four-wheeler. If I turn this off, it might be a little bit easier. Jolene's distracted by the noise. Jolene likes four-wheelers. She just wants a ride. You know, she's had a ride on a four-wheeler. Y'all remember that? Jolene has had a ride on a four-wheeler once and she can never forget how fun that was. Jolene, I want you to go in there with your mother the way, it's the same way Santora went there with his mom. Oh man, I gotta do everything around here. I gotta do everything, Jolene. I'm tired of doing everything. Really? So much for clean stalls. Go on. Now y'all see why I don't feed them in their stalls very often. <laughs> there you go. Now you guys are all aware of the reason why I don't feed them in their stall very often. Because that's the kind of nonsense I gotta clean up when they're done. 
there you go friends there you go i know what y'all want to see i know what you're all wanting to see you want to see me put tex into his stall and i'm not doing it if you're stuck around this long to see me put tex into his stall you're not going to see that because i'm not moving tex anywhere i will never need to move tex let me show y'all something else though just what if just what if remember this is a what if scenario I don't want anyone to hurt their feet coming through here, so I want to be careful. But just what if I wanted, let's just say Gracie. Let's just say that our sweet Gracie here needed to be loaded up. Let's just say that sweet Gracie needed to be loaded up and taken off to, to, uh, to band camp or to the vet or to anywhere else. Now, remember, all of this would not be here. I am working. I'm working. There's a work in progress here. What I'm going to do, though, is make a little bit of room. I'm going to make a little bit of room. That's plenty of room right there. And I want to show you something. I'm going to open up this little swing gate over here. Get back, Pearl. Gracie, will you run out my chute for me real fast? Just run down my chute real quick. I'm going to run Gracie down my chute. Gracie, at thank you, Pearl. Gracie, I need you to move on down my chute and show everybody how it's going to work. Remember, my trailer's over there. All loaded up. I don't want to make her trip over all my lumber, so I'm going to go real slow here. In real life, though, I start getting behind her and holler, yelling, screaming, and guess what, guys? Right there, she's up in my trailer. She's up in my trailer. Thank you, Gracie. You want to go back to your feed? You want to go back in there to your feed if you can? You can come in this way, or you can go around the other way. I'll open your gate back up. Guys, that was the plan right there. That was the plan. Now, if you're wondering about this over here, that's a mess right there. That's mean. That's why I bought these. That's why I bought these. I got enough of those to go like I've done over here. See how I put that one right there? Now they can no longer put their horns in there and start doing all that mean stuff. You know how lazy I am? Let me show you how lazy I am. I hate to say lazy, guys. It's just... it's. I'm going to tell y'all something, and I do not want you to worry. I'm going to tell you something, and I do not want you to worry. I have suffered heat exhaustion twice in the last week because I'm stupid. These are already cut to the exact size. Y'all look at this. <sighs> look at this. All I have to do is walk out here with the screw gun and put a couple of screws right there and put a couple of screws over here. I come by and zip and I'm done. That job is done, but it gets to be hot y'all. And when it gets hot, we don't want to do stuff. Come on, Gracie, come back in here, baby. I promise I'll leave you alone. So I'm going to take that down so she didn't knock it over on herself, but I'm going to leave it laying here. So I will promise myself to come out and do this as soon as it cools off tonight. What we're going to do is take you down our loading chute. Turn around this way. Come on. Turn around. Come on. I'm trying to turn Pearl. Oh, fine. I'll get over here then. I'll get. I'm, that's not our loading chute, Pearl. Let me get her out of my loading chute. Get out of there. This is not the loading chute. Back up out of here. Get out of there, Pearl. Move. Back. Back up. Or you're going to get your. You're messing up my entire system, Pearl. You're missing up my entire... There you go. Now get on in there. Get on down that chute. All right, so sometimes you got to let them know who the boss is. There's no food in there. Uh, take your little one with you. Jolene, go with Pearl. Pearl, don't step on that. There she goes. This mean cow's right on down the chute, right into the trailer. And she has now been loaded. Sorry, we're... <laughs> She's like, my baby! What about my baby? Okay, well, we can take the babies too. Hold on, I'll bring the baby. Yeah, this is a lot. This it may not have always made sense to everybody. Jolene, go on down the chute. Will you go down the chute? That's not the chute. Follow mama right down the chute. This way over here. Right down there. Nope. There, there's a door. Go out the door. Go out the door. That's a gate. The other door behind you over there. Right there. Now turn to the right and go right out there where mom's waiting. Well, see, this is my loading chute. 
Just jump over it, Jolene. Oh my God, we're gonna have another. Okay, don't you do it right there, Jolene. Oh my God. Gracie's back. Gracie's back. Jolene, just get on out of my loading chute. Get on out of my loading chute. Move, Pearl. I'm closing my loading chute gate. I've already loaded all the crazies out of here. <laughs> That's how you do it, guys. I hope that gave you a little bit of an idea of my system. Uh-oh, now we got a problem. Now look, what's gonna happen over here is Gracie's in trouble because just Pearl's gonna be mean. She's gonna wanna get in there. There. Now Pearl is, all right, now, all right, so Gracie's safe again. Gracie is safe inside of her spot. Uh, Jack, Pearl, that's not safe over there. So now everyone's getting kind of restless. So I'm going to go ahead and let everybody out. I don't want anyone to get hurt just by being silly. But uh, they've all had a chance to eat. I think you all got the idea of how the system works. So now, even though I've already cleaned up. Oh, so she wants to show y'all the loading system. So I think that this is like on a school. Don't go in. Did you not? So everybody wants to try out the loading. This is kind of like they do for a school bus evacuation. Sometimes you have to practice your evacuation drills. And uh, all of my cows here want to go ahead and run through their evacuation drills a couple of times. Make sure they know how it's going to work. This is kind of begun, began uh, sort of a fun game for them all. Go ahead, just push it on open. It ain't locked. Thank you. Okay, so now they all kind of get the system, how it all works. It all feeds together. And... Uh, it's become a game to them now. Let's all go in and go down dad's loading chute. That's what it has become is like a big game. And once it's become a game, then you better make sure you keep your gates locked. You wanna go down the loading chute also? If you wanna run down, I'll let you. You didn't go down the loading chute, huh? All right, I'm going to go ahead and bring their feet out of the stalls now. I think I've proven my point that these guys are well-trained and they are, they're well-versed in load. I'm going to cut my video right there and you'll be lucky if I don't cut you out of it. You'll be lucky if I just don't cut you out of my video. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. Yeah, something like that.